Hello and welcome back to the Livingston Career Mode and today uh, <coughs> before I get into anything I need to clarify that uh, I have been sneezing and coughing worse than anything uh, ever before today so if well, not, not even if there will be cuts I'm, I'm certain there will be cuts in this video and um, apologies, I can't really help it. It's just it's it's, it's really fucking bad right now. And um, aye, so if it's really bad, I don't blame you for not listening to it. Um, just please understand. <laughs> um, I'm no deliberately like, constantly having a blocked nose. If it was up to me, my throat would be clear, my nose would be clear. I would actually be able. To function as a person. Um, I kind of want to go over the signings that I made yesterday. Um, what is I think it was yesterday because we made three signings. <coughs> uh, if my laptop decides to cooperate, we made the signing of a striker, I believe, and two centre backs. And well, starting off with the striker, uh, Mohamed Bouyat Touray. Now, or today, what would you call Mohamed? Um, <coughs> he's a really pacey striker. He's like five ten. Uh, he's. I think it just seems like he's a much better Mensa to be honest. Has a seven million release clause on the contract. Um, he has um, a pretty cheap contract actually to be honest, it's only 7 uh, or was it 8? 8.5k eight wages per week and they were perfectly fine with that um, that was the first signing second signing, 32 year old called Juan Forlin from Genk uh, not quite as cheap in the wages, I'm pretty sure he's uh, 11k uh, or was it as much as that, it may actually be cheaper than that actually he was 500k more and then the last signing was a guy called Halen who's 27, 17 rated uh, and he was 4.2k in wages and here we have another centre back <laughs> And if you're wondering why I'm signing so many centre backs, it's because we kind of need the backup. We've got Findlay. Uh, we've obviously got um, Jack Hendry and Moretti as well. But here we have Tudor Malita, uh, Balita, sorry. Um, pretty sure he's worth what, 500k. And well, if you look here. Cheap wages, cheap signing bonus, um, over three and a half k to well, be basically be a squad player, um, and that's three centre backs in the space of two episodes. Uh, the um, thing is, the centre backs from last episode will be uh, coming out of the team for the next season, whereas Bogota will be coming in now. Like he is in the squad now. Uh, I doubt we'll be playing that much because uh, the thing is I do like Moretti, Jack Hendry and Findlay love all of them um, but like I did say yesterday uh, I wasn't sure if it was in that episode it's in this episode Mensa is leaving just a pre-contract uh, and Lamy is also leaving got 575k for him uh, he was like the last centre back and I knew I wanted to get rid of him because he was getting on I think he was like 28 or 29 uh, it might have been higher, I think he was like 67 or 68 rated um, but I knew getting somebody a bit younger in would have been beneficial to our team <laughs> so uh, the signing of Bogota was made and you know hopefully coming next season it'll be a good uh, you know 78 maybe um, fantastic save from Anderson here against Hibs <laughs> Uh, you know the team. The team is coming a long way now from the first season, and 
to think otherwise you'd have to be daft. With our league leaders at the moment, I'm pretty certain. Uh, so, you know, last season and the season before, what, what, what did we come last season? Was it fourth? And the season before that it was actually fifth. Uh, I thought we came top four the first season but we didn't. We only barely lost out due to the last game uh, against Hibs. Another great save from Anderson. Yeah, but we we lost out last season, not first season, because of Hibs, uh, who we are playing here. Uh, and shocking, shocking, shocking defending. There's not really much Anderson can do from that range. Although he has done stuff from that range before. Like earlier on in this match, um, can't expect him to save literally everything. And if we have a look at the stats as well, it's I'd say a draw was probably warranted. We had four percent more possession, one more shot on target. Um, we did have two more fouls, but had three more tackles. They had uh, better pass accuracy, but our shot accuracy was a good bit better, and we lost the game. Uh, surprisingly, I've not went in this sneezing fit or a coughing fit yet. Uh, next game up against Motherwell. Uh, put a strong team out. Torres is playing. Martinez is playing though. Uh, Cassidy playing as well. Couple of rotated players basically. Um, Cassidy is a weird one. Um, I do like him as a player. Uh, I'm not sure if he fits into the system though. <laughs> Because when he came in, I was expecting him to be like a Marco Verratti type player. Um, or at least similar, because obviously he's like 5'5". Five five. Um, not particularly quick. I didn't expect him to be a defensive player, obviously. Um, so his stats are very poor when it comes to defensively. Um, and Martinez here. I do like him. It's just sad for him because Navarro's in, because, you know, put this penalty away very nicely. Because Navarro, I'll be honest, I don't think, I don't think Navarro would have scored that, to be honest. Um, I reckon, kind of, just because of the way FIFA works, Bobby Burns gone through and putting a nice shot away. Um, Due to the way FIFA is, I don't think Navarro's would have went in the back of the net. I reckon his would have been saved, probably. Or just pinged off the post and then going out. Um, <laughs> glad Martinez got the goal, though. Uh, we don't get many penalties. So, to see it go in was nice. Bobby Bond's having another pop. Uh, didn't go in the back of the net this time. Uh, which is funny actually because Bobby Bonds hasn't been scoring as much, Romano having a good chance as well. Um, just one of those games where we start peppering them. Cybold cutting inside. Very nice. And I remember I remember that shot. Or oh, hitting that shot and thinking, how the fuck did he do that? It was so bad, but we won 2 0 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But could have been 3, 4, 5, possibly 6. Uh, no tears, uh, but I can take a 2-0 win as long as it's a win. Next game up against Dundee, who when we last faced them, it was 5-0 uh, to us. Findlay playing, uh, Lawson's back in the team, Navarro back in the team, and uh, Navarro here coming up, uh, trying to hit a long shot with him, because his long shot's are like 85 or something like that. <laughs> But the long shot was really poor. Uh, I don't actually remember what this penalty was for, but we missed it. So, does it really matter? Um, although, obviously, it is a highlight. Uh, we never put it away, but Cyborg put this shot away. I'm trying to think what that free that penalty was for. Hopefully, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but I don't think I actually have that highlight. Um, I mean, if you're paying attention to the last penalty that we got, I don't actually know if I think that was a penalty or not. <laughs> it was a weird one. Navarro twisting and turning in between like four or five Dundee players there, hitting a shot right at the keeper. Um, 
getting a ball from Carolina, I think it was actually, with the throw in. We get a free kick, basically on the edge of the box. Um, in Cassidy, that's something that he is good at, is free kicks. And he hits one, and it's so fucking close. Genuinely, in the Miretti, having a decent attempt for a centre back anyway. I was expecting, I, gen oh, I genuinely expected this to go in because it obviously, from my point of view, very close, very close, they ended up bouncing in front of the keeper, off of the bar, very gutting, Mensa coming close with the header but the game ends 1-0 to us, um, I will score a free kick eventually, if not this season then next. <laughs> Uh, ended up simulating a game against Celtic. I was feeling kind of lucky because of you know, at home, um, you know, but it would be on decent form. Although obviously Hibs, um, Hibs beat us. I felt like that was quite cheesy for us to lose that game. Um, but yeah, uh, we did get very lucky. We won one now. Uh, they got two yellow cards. We played up strongest lineup. I'm pretty sure, and then. The very team that we bought Jack Hendry from wanted him back, and I thought that was an interesting, um, an interesting transfer request uh, from Celtic. But I didn't bother doing it. And deadline day ended. Vecchio went from uh, Leon to Real Madrid for like eighty six million, and the episode will end going into the Johnson game. Typical, typical, typical. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, please have a like. Um, we did get we actually got through like over a month in this episode. Um, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe if you've enjoyed. Apologies about the nose and the throat and all that, but hopefully that will be sorted eventually. And uh, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>